right, Naresh, thank you so much for uh, joining me today. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, it's great yeah. to have you. Uh, well, look, AI is driving new opportunities for business around the world. Um, can you tell me a little bit about what you're seeing in terms of the opportunity and some of the challenges that customers are facing? Well, um, so last two years, we are on this hyper growth of AI, you know, generative, agent tech and everything. Uh, I think our customers are seeing a lot more value. We being service provider, we, we see value in driving and delivering that value to our clients, uh, particularly in customer experience and engagement space. Uh, the expectations has been high, mm -hmm. and obviously the outcomes that we have delivered over the last two years has been exceptional, right? Um, right from transforming how our clients look at their sales processes how they service their end consumers, mm. that has drastically changed. Uh, I would say first six months, probably everybody was a little bit worried, would it work or not? But last year, year and a half has been a phenomenal journey. I mean, people are seeing the result, businesses are seeing the result. They have been able to serve their end clients far better. We definitely see it's a, it's a new world order. This will help our clients and help us serve them better. That's great. And how are you thinking about uh, solving some of those challenges and serving those businesses uh, together with Microsoft? Now, how we are deploying Microsoft in conjunction with what they already have is to make their workforce far more efficient. Mm. So all the sales agents or sales people in the team use all the Microsoft tooling. So how do we use the power of, you know, the co-pilots then augment that with Dynamics and then augment that with remaining pieces plugged in from the Azure system. So it's a, it's a really good transformation story, if you would. Sure. Uh, Microsoft brings us not only a hyperscaler, but a platform to solve a client problem. We can do hyperscaler in, in many ways, uh, but then having solving that customer problem becomes easier with the ecosystem that we have with Microsoft and the speed at which we can deliver. Uh, the challenging part of these technologies is, right, I mean, they don't have time to wait for three years. You need to deliver it in, you know, three months, six months and do it repetitive. So it's, yeah. it's great. And, and how are you using AI, Microsoft's AI solutions as part of your own delivery to, to your clients? So we use, I mean, we use a lot of co-pilot, uh, but it helps our, our salespeople. It, it helps us being more efficient it helps us understand things much more faster. One of the things that I personally feel uh, good about is, uh, it's tricky at times to have all the people around in the same call. Now, how do you ensure everybody has the same information base to operate from? To build a solution for our clients, uh, you need a solution architect, you need a designer, you need a process person. And when you are having those briefing discussions, uh, can you get all five experts at the same time? Most probably it's a tricky situation, right? If you have, and once we enable the co-pilot parts of it, I mean, it be, becomes easier to manage the knowledge, share the knowledge, work on it. That's good. That's great. Yeah. And, and how would you say that Microsoft's uh, AI uh, vision is differentiated and, and how does that align with Capgemini's vision for AI? So I, I'll start with how, how our vision was uh, and we felt it is quite aligned with the way we were thinking it. Uh, so if you if you see about 2022, Iman uh, made a statement on saying, AI is not just one part of it, right? You need AI to do customer experience. You need AI to build base models. You need AI to do software engineering. So, so while everybody says AI is one shot, it depends where you are deploying it. Uh, you know, which part of business are you deploying it for? So when you're solving a customer problem, it becomes Gen AI for CX. When you're doing software engineering, then you need Gen AI for software engineering. And that way we were quite aligned. So if you see, uh, you know, the biz apps business, it helps us saying, oh, we are, we are helping business applications. Uh, but when you go down to solving a developer's problem, oh, I'm doing a co-pilot for developers. So, it was quite aligned to our strategy of saying, oh, while you say these are four or five big domains that a business would require AI in, 
what's a technology partner who supports that vision? And it got augmented by having the right tooling from Microsoft. So it kind of aligned a lot with the way we were thinking about it. No, that's great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your partnership. I've, I've loved to get to know you, Naresh, and, and really look forward to what we can do together in the future for our thank customers. You. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah.